Um, so this is a separate video of me just reading the poem um, in the spoken word uh, revolution book. My favorite poem entitled um, Open Letter to Neil Armstrong. So enjoy it. Listen to the words, and I know I'm sick and nasally, but I really wanted to share it. Um, yeah. Okay. Open letter to Neil Armstrong. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Dear Neil Armstrong, I write this to you as she sleeps down the hall. I need answers that I think only you might have. When you were a boy and space was simple science fiction, when flying was merely a daydream between periods of history and physics, when gifts of moon dust to the one you loved could only be wrapped in your imagination, before the world knew your name, before it was a destination. What was the moon like from your backyard? Your arm, strong, warm and wrapped under her hair, both of you gazing up from the back porch, summers before your distant journey. But upon landing, when the earth rose over the sea of tranquility, did you look for her? What was it like to see our planet and know that everything you could be, all you could ever love and long for, was just floating before you? Did you write her name in the dirt when the cameras weren't looking? Surrounding both of your initials with a heart for alien life to study a million years from now. Let me fix that. <laughs> what is it like to love something so distant? What words did you use to bring the moon back to her? And what did you promise in the moon's ear about the girl back home? Can you teach me to fall from the sky? I ask you all of this not because I doubt your feet. Feet. I just want to know what it's like to go somewhere no man had ever been, just to find that she wasn't there. To realize your moonwalk could never compare to the steps that lead to her. I know now, the flight home means more. Every July I think of you, I imagine the summer of 69. How lonely she must have felt while you were gone. You never went back to the moon and... I believe that's because it doesn't take rockets to get to where you belong. I see in this woman down the hall, sometimes she seems so much further. But I'm ready for the steps I must take to get to her. I've seen many skies and the moon always looks the same. So I gotta say, the rock you landed on has got nothing on the rock she's landed on. You walked around, took samples, and left. She's built a fire, cleaned up the place, and I hope she decides to stay. On this one, we can breathe. Mr. Armstrong, I don't have much. Many times I have been upside downtrodden, but with these empty hands comes a heart that is full more often than the moon. She's becoming my world pulling me into orbit, and I know I may never find life outside of hers. I want to give her everything I don't have yet, so for her, I'd go to the moon and back, but not without her. We'd claim the moon for each other with flags made from sheets down the hall, and I'd risk it all to kiss her under the light of Earth. The brightness of home, but I can do all of that and more here, wherever she is. And when we gaze up with my arm around her, I will not promise her gifts of moon dust or flights of fancy. Instead, I will gladly give her all the earth she wants in return for all the earth she is. The sound of her heartbeat and laughter and all the time it takes to learn to fall from the sky, down the hall, and ride in the love. I'd do it every day if I could just land next to her. Five, four, three... Two, one small step for a man, but she's one giant leap for my kind. Long poem, 
but it's amazing and I hope you felt his words like I felt them like I can imagine him sitting at this desk and I can feel his heartbeat and I read his words to how I think his heart is beating to oh, to just like I don't know how to explain it because I'm crazy into poetry and in words and feeling but I can feel him through his words and it's it's beautiful and I hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah